Yo, what's up, dude? What's up? How you doing? I got, um, I got uh, the little vapor trails here. It's not on. Let me see if I can get a little, little mix going here. I've been working on a, a video for this. Um. way up, don't I? Yeah, there it goes. Anyway, this isn't a video about this. Let's see if we can get... Hold on. <laughs> Here we go, you ready? Analog delays it can be a lot of fun. So the reason why I came on today was because I ran into a, a song the other day that I haven't heard in years. A telephone line by ELO. That's what I say. It's sort of a one-hit wonder, you know. I mean, ELO's had many hits, but, you know, Telephone Line is one of those songs that sort of came and went, right? Didn't have much staying power. You don't hear it on the radio all that often. It's not, you know, uh, one of those uh, 70 songs that just still gets played to this day, you know, on a regular basis. Um, you just don't hear it anymore. So I was on some station, and they were playing deep cuts, and... <laughs> This comes on and I'm going, oh my God. And the funny thing is, is that song was so huge for a very small period of time that, you know, I had heard it so many times in a certain situation, which is basically hanging in my bedroom in West Roxbury and, uh, you know, listening to my little Sanyo boombox or whatever it was. I think it was Sanyo. And, um, I mean, it was like an instant transportation, you know, back to, uh, you know, listening. <laughs> Look at my, my old skateboarder magazine. This is January of 78. You know, these old things and, and just being like, you know, uh, yeah, there, <laughs> there's a couple. The skateboard I wanted was this one right here. The Quicksilver with the bones, with the bones wheels. 
Eh, it's about a $50, $55 skateboard, which, you know, today, that's in $78. Today, it's probably like a couple of hundred. <laughs> probably at least, you know, three times what it was in 78. <laughs> So I started thinking, I was like, you God, you know, it's not like there's so many, you know, other songs that you know and you know over the years, but there's always this one or two songs that can put you back in a moment. And I think it's because the telephone line didn't have future plays, right? So it played for a very short period of time, then it was sort of over. And when you hear it, it brings you back to this period where it was huge, you know, and I was like 11 years old. And, yeah, you know, uh, there's no internet. You get about six channels of TV to choose from. And, you know, three of them don't come in that well. <laughs> it's like, you know, there wasn't a lot to do. The radio was pretty huge. You could listen to the DJs all day. And, and I, that song was so friggin' huge for about three months, you know, four months. It was huge. <laughs> And um, I can hear that song and be like brought back to that moment to a degree that's almost frightening, right? I mean, I can like just, I can see the magazines. I can see where my bed is in the room. It was when I had my bed on, I've moved my bed several times in the room. I'm over here, I'm over here. But this was when it was in the back corner. I had my little nightstand there and, you know, I had my radio and my lamp and, uh, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a level of um, recall that is infrequent, right? You just don't get this type of, you know, remembering. And I know I'm not alone in this. Not for that song, but for just songs in general. I got to think that for, you know, most people out there, that there's, you know, not a ton of songs, but there's a, a handful of songs that were embedded in your brain at a young age and you go through a long period where you don't hear it again but then when you do hear it it's like you're right back there again i'll tell you another huge one is the loadout from um jackson brown just huge and i can just completely remember like my that song was massive, and my whole room, we had moved to Dedham at this point, and my whole room is covered, this is like two years later, three years later, two years later, something like that. Yeah, 77, this is probably 79. I'm collecting like bear cans, right? I think I even found one. I don't know if you can see it up there. Maybe you can't, an old, an old black label. Let me see if I can grab this real quick without disconnecting all my stuff. Oi. There we go. There you go. <laughs> An old punch top. <laughs> yeah, I collected beer cans for a while. Cone tops, all kinds of stuff. Had the Schlitz vitamin D. Right, the one everyone wanted to find was the soul, right? The, um, the soul can from... Uh, Soul Beer out of California, right? Anyway, um, so, you know, songs like The Loadout and, you know, just, just my, you know, my room is covered in, what's not in beer cans is in Kiss posters. And, uh, you know, that song was just so huge. And again, it didn't have the lasting power. You don't hear that on the radio all that often. I mean, you'll hear it once in a while, but I haven't heard it in years. Uh, but when I do hear it, my God, it just goes right back to like hanging out in my bedroom. There's no computers. There's no internet. There's barely any TV. We didn't even get cable yet. I don't think we got cable for another, you know, I don't think we got cable until 84, right? 83, 84. I, know, I remember we had to go over a friend of mine's house because he had MTV to see... Um, uh, the premiere, the world premiere for the Panama video. So that had to be what early '84, right? And then like right around January, February of '84. And we still didn't have cable. We had to go over there to see it. So I don't think we got cable till like late '84, '85. So I mean, there's still 
there's nothing to do. And when you get songs that get real popular, you know, they can sort of bring you back to a moment of time. So I'd be curious to hear if anyone else has, and I'm sure they're out there, you know, a tune that you just, you're like, wow, that tune, I mean, I don't follow it all that much, but boy, it really does bring me back to a, a certain time. Th that telephone line song, I mean, it's it's scary how vivid, you know, that can be listening to that song. You know, you close your eyes, and I can be, like, right back in that bedroom listening to that and, you know, pouring through magazines and all the stuff my parents are not going to buy me. <laughs> You know, I needed me for a pairing because, you know, God, the money we blow on our kids between Legos, oh my God, Legos, and American Girl Doll, two biggest rackets. <laughs> my mother would be like, how much is it? Yeah, I don't think so. For plastic? No, we're not buying that. I'll buy you a, I'll buy you a war bond. <laughs> Worst gift ever. Anyway. That's about it. I had heard that song, and I got all uh, nostalgic to come on and, and talk about it. And uh, I'm still working on the old Vapor Trails uh, video. We'll get that going at some point. And uh, I got a new amp coming in. And that will help me do the, the Vapor Trails. <laughs> I really like this pedal a lot. So I, um, you got to do it with an effects loop. I've already tried many times to run an effects loop through my mix and board, and all I get is constant feedback. So I'm, I, I can't get the channels isolated. So therein lies the problem. This, uh, I, I'm, I'm having difficulty, you know, running an effects loop. And, and I have sends and returns, but I for damned if I can get them to work correctly. So I have no idea what the hell's going on with that. But at any rate, buy, buy, buy an amp with an effects loop. Problem solved. That's exactly what I did. So we should have a new amp here in, I don't know, like a week. And then I got to figure out a way to mic it. Probably need to buy an SM57. And then, of course, I got to re record anything I do with it during the daytime because can't be doing it late at night. Oh, the, the obstacles. <laughs> Look, I'm playing the world's tiniest violin. <laughs> All right, dudes, that's it. If you have a, um, a tune that uh, you feel is particularly memorable for you, not for anybody else, but just for you, throw it down in the comments. I'd love to see it. Mine, admittedly, is Telephone Line by ELO. <laughs> <laughs> and the loadout by Jackson Brown. Those two, I'm sure there's a ton of other ones, but those two in particular, which is so huge. And like I said, it's not like Back in Black, which was huge for me, but was played for many, many years after that. So you don't really have that one moment in time. It's sort of smeared out over a longer period. Whereas this is very focused. And I think that's what makes the memory so strong. All right, guys. That's it for today. Try and get back here pretty soon. Trying to cram in a bunch before the end of uh, June, which is when my kids get out of school. And, uh, and then things, things get tough. <laughs> All right. Rock on. <laughs>